Hello everybody and welcome to another tutorial. In this one, we're going to be taking a look at the improvements that were made to Decals in Corona 12. So what you can now do with Decals is you can actually bend them. So you can bend them in their width or in their height directions. And it's all really simply done just by playing with the two parameters that you can see here. Now, why is this useful? Well, let's say, for example, you have a decal that you want to apply to a cylindrical object, like in this case. Well, you can just simply now bend the decal and avoid any sort of distortion that would otherwise happen if you just applied a flat decal to a curvy object like this, right? Now, on top of that, if you bend your decal in its width and in its height directions, you can then also apply it to spherical objects without any of the distortions that would otherwise happen if you were working with a flat decal, right? Right. And so we think this functionality is going to be useful to a lot of you. Uh, it's also really simple to use. It just it comes down to tweaking two parameters. But since this is a tutorial, uh, we're going to spend the, the next couple of minutes uh, taking a look at the general workflow of how you can actually bend your decals. And on top of that, we're also going to be uh, doing a bit of a quick tip at the very end of this tutorial. We're going to be showcasing a pretty interesting uh, use case uh, for bendable decals that, you know, might not be the first thing you think of when you think of bendable decals. All right. OK, uh, so let's just go to work and let's take a look at how you can actually bend your decals next year. All right. So we are in Cinema 4D here. And as you can see, we have a bit of a decal. Uh, setup already set up. So um, right now our decal is flat and it's sort of projected onto this sort of cylindrical shampoo bottle. And as you can see, we get all these distortions, which, you know, it doesn't really look all that cool. And so how do we uh, bend our decal here? So all you have to do is you need to go under the decals properties, under the size compartment here, and down here you're going to be able to see these two new parameters, bend width and bend height parameters. So if you want to bend the decal in its width direction, you just up the bend width parameter, right? It's that easy. And if you want to bend the decal and its height, then you just up the bend height parameter. OK, it's really that easy. And that's pretty much the gist of the workflow here. Now, uh, since we're uh, in our scene here already, let's just showcase how we would sort of set up this decal to be applied to our shampoo bottle here, um, you know, um, as, as you would in your own production scene. So first up, what I will do here is I will lower the depth limit projection. OK. So I'm doing that just because, you know, at 20 centimeters, this was not really all that um, appropriate for the bottle of this size. So I'm just going to go with a depth limit of one centimeter. It's just going to be a little bit easier to work with. Then we're going to jump into the top view and I'm going to start bending the decal in its width direction. OK, um, so now, as you can see, right, uh, you also need to make sure that your decal is kind of positioned properly so that it matches the curve of the actual bottle. And uh, just like that, we are pretty much done here. Right. So we bent our decal. Uh, we made sure that it's positioned properly. And as you can see in a rendered image, uh, you know, things are looking pretty cool and not distorted at all. Now, as we mentioned earlier, you can also bend your decals in both their width and height directions at the same time. OK, so we have a bit of a, a decal setup going on here again. And uh, this time, as you can see, it's again a flat uh, decal, but it's being projected onto a sphere. And as you can see, there's quite a bit of distortion happening. And I think we're even cutting uh, part of the letter down here. OK, so uh, now what we can do is we can or what I will do is I'm going to go into the top view just because uh, this gives me the best sort of vantage point to kind of fit the curvature of this decal to the curvature of the sphere or the object that you're projecting on. OK, and I'm just going to start playing with the bend width value. OK, I'm just going to try to get this decal to match the curvature of the sphere. OK, and I think something like this is going to work just fine. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this value and I'm just going to paste it into the height bend input field because we're dealing with a sphere. Right. OK. And uh, just like that, as you can see, we have a much more pleasant decal projection on our hands. Now, as mentioned earlier in the tutorial, there's also an extra thing that we're going to showcase uh, for when it comes to bendable decals. And so uh, that time is now. And so let's just showcase it. So we have our flat current decal here and we're trying to use it to add these sort of details to our snooker queue here. Right. But the problem obviously is uh, that we're dealing with the Corona decal that's flat. And so things kind of look distorted and they don't really get projected around the queue in a 360 degree fashion. OK, but now 
Uh, since we can now bend decals, what we can do is we can bend the decal 360 degrees. And so now adding details on cylindrical sort of objects such as our snooker cue here uh, becomes a lot easier to do, as you can see, because now we're projecting this decal in a 360 degree sort of bend or a fashion or however you want to put it, right? So uh, this is just a bit of a tip on how you can also use uh, this new uh, bendable decals functionality. All right, and so that's pretty much the entire workflow. Hopefully you'll agree it's really easy and really straightforward. And so hopefully now you can just go to work, right? All right, so uh, that's it for this tutorial. Thank you for tuning in. We hope you learned something new. And as always, we'll see you in the next one.